Fueled by DeathCast. Can we walk through exactly the process of what it is to make one of these mugs? Mm. Because I've said this before, it's funny. Again, as someone who knows next to nothing about the industry, and I've talked to other people who don't either, you know, there's a misconception, the ghost misconception, that you're just like, and there it is. Or, not even that, it's like you have like a like a mold, and sure. you just pour the clay into the mold, and then voila, beautiful mug. And that's not the case either. Can we walk through that process? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, the, the bigger, huge manufacturing facilities that are pumping out tons of mugs, that is slip cast. So it is a mold, mm-hmm. liquid clay, they do that. Right. That's not how we, that's no. not how we choose right. to do it. No, so, I mean, when we start, we start with logs of clay that we extrude because we process our own clay in the house we cut them up into like the perfect bite-sized pieces Mm -hmm. our potters will stack up like two or three hundred pieces so in the morning you walk past the potter's lane Mm -hmm. and it's just everyone's got huge piles of clay halfway through the day halfway gone end of the day all gone so it's just i mean that transformation is amazing um but once a pot is thrown we let it set for a day when it comes out the next day we'll apply a handle We'll put a medallion on it. We'll let it air dry for three days. Then we bisque fire it to 1600 degrees. It takes about 16 hours. Comes out, we do a quality inspection. We'll paint the medallion to pop out the detail. Then it moves through, and I'm, I'm doing this, it moves through. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because our, our building as we've grown over time is just like, oh, that was a conference room. Oh, now that's the glazed storage area. <laughs> oh, that was where we used to hold cardboard. Oh no, that's the glazing area now. Yeah. But the, the pots then move through and then we uh, apply glaze, which is done through suction. So we'll take a, a mug and we'll dip it into a bucket, pull it out. That's a solid and one of these guys. Okay. And if it's a marble, then you gotta wait for the, the glaze to dry a little bit and then you will dip just the top in one or two more dips. Oh, it's so cool. And then you remove the glaze off the front in the medallion and obviously if you dipped it in, glaze is covering the whole thing and you don't want it on the foot. So then you gotta wipe off the foot. Then you stack it into a kiln that fires for another 24 hours and you never want to touch a mug after it comes right out of the kiln. Will it just crumble? Well, you can crack the doors at like 800, uh-huh. but if you were to open the doors at like at full temp, I mean, the thermal shock would ripple through and you, it would just be like, <sighs> but there's a few times when you open it at like 400 and you're really just anxious to get some stuff out. And, and you know, if you reach in there and pot's like 400 degrees, yeah. I mean, you put it down, you have no fingerprints. Right. Not a good thing. Not thing. Mm. No. So then we'll, uh, after it cools, then you take it back into the shipping department where we'll inspect it again grind the bottom, make sure it's super silky smooth, pack it in boxes and ship it out. So all in all, I mean, from start to finish, it's the, the time it takes is, you know, about 21 business days, so mm-hmm. three, four weeks. But when you have orders that are stacked up, then it just takes a little bit longer. Right, exactly. Where in that process, because one of the things that our fans love is um, we number our mugs, except for oh, yeah. the yearly mugs, you know, yep. and, and then also um, when they are mugs that are you know like let's say numbered out of five thousand whenever you get to those even hundreds oh, yeah. yeah you sign them that's dad er, your dad signs them. i've yeah. done it once you've done it once i've done it once I'm, i was gonna say i've seen video of you signing yep. them so when does that in the process happen when you number and, and then sometimes sign the bottom right of the mug? before the first firing right before the yep. first one. during that three days of sort of the drying time They'll go from being leather hard to being sort of like more, it's just harder, less water. It's not fun to number them when they've dried too long because right. they get scratchy. But if you can find that perfect little time when the, it, the clay just, it just comes up like little, little noodles. It's so fun. Wow. But dad digs that. He digs yeah. that. <laughs> That's so cool. I, I, like thing. I said, our, our fan base loves it. The, posting the photos like i gotta sign one no this that's time, i know? mean that's one of the coolest things is when you get to see that back because you put out i mean it's like every even hundred yeah and i've maybe five of those i've seen so if you've got those if you've got a hand signed one we'd love to see those yes. post them up share them up tag the dean potter it'd be cool to see him for real for real um and then also i wanted to ask because you were talking about some of the different things in that process you add the handles later yeah so are the handles hand handled <laughs> the handles are hand handled. They, we we extrude handles. So if you've ever played with Play-Doh, yep, and they have that little kind of deal, you put it in, you put the little template you want, yep. you squish it down, it comes out. So th- we have one of those that, that produces the the handles themselves, and then we cut them into six inch lengths. But yeah, I mean, I've, there was a couple days I've done it. I have not done throwing, but I've done handle plying, I've done medallion plying, I've done glazing, I've done scrubbing, I've stacked kilns. The one thing I haven't been uh, had enough time to develop is, is to sit down and willing to throw uniform mugs. Mm. 
it's just a it's a different task. I also yeah. can't do balloon animals, so don't ask. <laughs> okay, done. Um, that was gonna be the second part of this now. <laughs> but okay. putting on a handle is super cool because you just have this nice little ribbon of clay, right? And then you know we sort of score and then we uh, smooth it out and uh-huh. then you put it down and then as you're putting it it's like perfect because the mug is leather hard so you you've got some rigidity there yep but then you want to make sure that it's straight and level so you got to look at it a couple ways and then you got to make sure that you got the right bend so if you've ever looked at it this is because someone's hand is going like like that like <sighs> that is the handle and if you're not careful when you put it down and you do your next one you get like yeah I got that one that's good and if you if you hit it like that ah. Uh. It's messed it's over, up. over, yeah. So, I mean, if you're not careful, you see mugs that'll look like that. Not ours, because we'll catch it. Just because we, don't, you can't put out product that doesn't look good. Exactly, exactly. The other question on the handles, then, what is the 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 reason or the origin between the you facing mug? The, the the I guess you'd call it the left-handed mug. How how come the handles are always that's there? A, that's a tough one. You know, when you set about to do something and you repeat it, just keep it going the same way. Okay. But it's so no funny. real like no. lefties are better or whatever. Well, like, so my mom is a lefty. Okay, okay. Her twin sister is also a lefty. Okay. And my dad's a righty. Uh-huh. So, but my mom is kind of an introvert. And my dad is an extrovert. Uh-huh. So we always go with the well. It's a it's a left-handed extrovert or a right-handed introvert. Oh, right. But truly, it's like the the artwork that you create and the brands that want to be celebrated, they want to be celebrated by the people that are drinking. And it is. It's like, you know, the majority of people are right. Right. But, right. <laughs> um, but left is not bad. I mean, I, you can hold it with both hands. Yeah. But no, we just, so we just... We, we, we started doing it one way, and we just keep doing it the one way. Oh, that's so interesting. The other um, thing that you brought up, and uh, it's another thing that's a fan favorite at Death Wish with the mugs that we make, is when you double dip the glaze. And um, you said, you know, like sometimes you dip it again or you dip it two more times, and you just get this amazing, you know, and everyone is different. Oh, and yeah. So was that something that started with when you started glazing mugs did you start thinking oh of different ways you could glaze that i mean it happened before i was really sort of in the business Mm -hmm. i mean i go back to the stories that when dad started he had you know six different styles mugs and then four colors that was it four solid colors like hunter green gloss burgundy and i think it was probably navy blue didn't think he was going to have to add any more colors on than that because that's enough, right? Mm-hmm. Four colors, plenty. Yeah, right, yeah. Um, but then I don't know if it was a happy accident or it was like, let's test this out. Let's, let's you know, do a whole mug and let's put a little bit on top. But what I do know is that the term, we call it marbling. Mm-hmm. Yep. Frosting, drippy stuff. You know, it's got a lot of different names and, you know, we know what you mean. Um, but when they opened the kiln and Dad saw the mug that had this effect on it, he's like, wow. And this is kind of going to date my dad a little bit, but he's like, Those, that looks like a marble. I was like, well, why a marble, dad? And he's like, well, when I was a kid, we used to shoot marbles. Yeah. You, know, you get a circle, and then you have your shooter marble Shooters. and your marbles. So yep. he's like big into marbles. So then marbling. I love it. Yeah. I love it. That's so cool. Um, the other aspect um, is the incredible medallions. Now, you said that those are also applied after the, the mug is, is made. How are they created? We, that's kind of the, the secret sauce. Okay. A little All secret right. sauce. All right. Um, we were able to use computer generated artwork and then produce a mold. Mm-hmm. And so then each one of these guys is pressed by a mold and a little piece of clay. And then, uh, and then there you have it. Yeah. Um, Magic. Because what's incredible is, is some of the medallions, especially the ones that we've gotten to create through Death Wish because of the amazing Thomas Agnetti and uh, some of our other our, our other people that we've worked with, um, the detail that can come oh. on some of these is just it's insane. Insane. No, and I I mean I don't know how old you are. I'm 43 now. Mm-hmm. I'm starting to have to like where I need <laughs> I need cheaters. I need good yeah. light. I mean some of the designs that Thomas is pushing through. It's like. I, I literally need to get the glasses on to see all those little hidden gems and it's like, oh, yeah, no, it's, I mean, it, when we, when we're lucky enough to get, you know, run across paths of those that are in ceramics and they look at this and they're like, no, clay, clay is not designed to do, to do this. that. This is, this should be metal. It should, there should be some et, like real etching with tools. This shouldn't, it shouldn't be able to hold a print. Yeah. But we're. 
We've got we've got a good supply of clay available in the U.S. Yeah, and it, 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 they 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 haven't said it's limited, so we're we're good. I think we can make a lot more mugs that's, with a lot more detail. That's excellent. <laughs>